Hi boys and girls, today we are starting a new read aloud. It is called Upstairs Mouse, Downstairs Mole. Okay, so looking at the front cover here, I'm noticing our two main characters. It looks like our mouse is up here and our other character, Mole, is going to be down here. A mole is a real type of animal. This is a pretty realistic picture. They are a dark color. They have kind of this snout looking thing in the front of their faces and they bury deep in the dirt. I do not like moles. I have seen them in my backyard and they are quite scary looking, but it's okay because he looks pretty friendly in this book. So we are gonna, we took a look at the front cover. Let's take a peek at the back cover. It says mouse lives inside a tree and mole lives in a hole underneath that tree. They both like their homes clean and tidy but when mouse sweeps, the dirt ends up in Mole's house. Is there a way to solve this messy problem and have some friendly fun? We're going to read chapter one of this story uh, today. The table of contents is in the beginning of this book, and it says chapter one is called Clean and Tidy. Chapter two is called The Invitations. Chapter three is Kind, Good Neighbors. And chapter four is called The Boat. We're going to get started with chapter one today. I hope you enjoy this story, okay? All right, chapter one, clean and tidy. Mouse and mole are neighbors. Mouse lives in a house inside an oak tree. Mole lives in a hole under the house of mouse. So we have mole and mouse are both living in this tree, but mouse lives upstairs and mole lives downstairs. Every morning, Mole swept his hole. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Mole liked his hole nice and tidy. Every evening, Mouse swept her house. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Mouse kept her house nice and clean. So we have Mole in his hole up here. We have Mouse in her house down here. So they both like things clean and tidy. I wonder if that's how they got the name of this chapter from. But when Mouse swept her house, the dirt went below into Mole's hole. This made Mole angry. If you take a look, she's brushing it right on top of him. He knocked on Mouse's door. Tap, tap, tap. Evening, Mole, said Mouse. Evening, Mouse, said Mole. Did you know that when you sweep, all your dirt goes down into my hole? I sweep my place nice and tidy in the morning, but by evening it needs to be swept all over again. If you sweep in the morning, said Mouse, and then again in the evening, you can see he's talking to her right here and he looks a little upset because his hands are thrown over his head. Why, you have twice as much work as I do. That does not seem fair. Together, they sat down on the stoop. Mouse twirled her tail. Mole rubbed his snout. I have an idea, squeaked Mouse. She told Mole her new plan. They shook paws. Good night, said Mouse to Mole. Good night, said Mole to Mouse. They came up with a plan. The next morning when Mole woke up, he did not sweep his hole. At 12 o'clock sharp, he grabbed his broom and knocked on Mouse's door. Good afternoon, said Mole to Mouse. Good afternoon, said Mouse to Mole. Mouse ran to fetch her broom. Together, they swept Mouse's house until it was nice and clean. Why, it only took us half the time it takes me to sweep my house, said Mouse. Next, they marched downstairs and swept Mole's hole until it was nice and tidy. Together, it had taken less time to sweep both places than it took for each of them to do just one. Look at that, teamwork. That was fast, said Mole. Our houses are clean and tidy, thanks to you. Now what? I've been thinking of a garden, said Mouse. Outside, Mouse and Mole circled the tree. Mole rubbed his snout. His snout is just like his nose. Where should we put it? How about in the back, said Mouse, twirling her tail. Then we will have a backyard. Good thinking, exclaimed Mole. First, they dug up a patch of grass. Next, they raked the dirt until it was soft. 
I bet a bunch of you have been doing this with your gardening. I know some of us have gardens at home in their backyards too. Mole dug a row of holes. Mouse dropped a seed into each one. Then it was Mouse's turn to dig and Mole's turn to plant. Back and forth they went until the garden was finished. Woo, said Mole. That was hard work, but only half as hard, thanks to you, said Mouse. They decided to take a nap. Mole went down into his hole. Mouse went inside her house. Both were much too tired to bother with the dirt they tracked into their clean and dirty homes. You can see all the dirty footprints that they brought into their houses after gardening. That was the end of chapter one. Next time we read, we will be doing chapter two, The Invitations. I hope you guys liked this uh, new story, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye.